Hey everybody, Matthew here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you five killer products that you can start selling on your store now to take advantage of the summer and spring trend coming just around the corner. Now guys, before I actually show you these five awesome products, I wanna remind you guys that every single video, I give away a free mentorship call, and all you gotta to do to enter is like, comment, and subscribe, and the winner from the last video is right here, Congratulations, message me on Facebook and we'll set up a time. Let's jump onto my computer and I'll show you guys these five awesome products. So really quick, so you guys know what I've been looking for when choosing these products, I'll just talk about that right now. The product is trending and it's linked to the time of the year. So I wanna see that spike related to the time of the year. Cause again, I'm giving you products that you can sell in spring and summer. It's timeless and solves a real need. If you guys see the products, you'll realize that they're timeless. They always solve a real need that people actually have. And so every year it'll come back. It won't just be like a fad, like big hoop earrings or something like that. I can't think of any fads right now. I also wanted to follow predictable trends. So you'll see that most of the products that I'm gonna show you guys today actually do follow that predictable trend. So every year is woo, woo, Ooh, and that's going to give you the opportunity to take advantage of that kind of stuff. All right, guys. So the first product I want to show you is the Paw Cleaner Cup. Obviously, right now it's getting warmer and warmer. Even in Canada right now, the snow is starting to melt. And what this means is that for dog owners, it is a nightmare. If you're taking your dog out three times a day, which is, you know, what I do, I got to clean my dog's paws every single time I take her out. And it is extremely muddy outside. And when she comes back into my house, it gets extremely annoying. She jumps on the couch, you know, on her bed. So it's really annoying to clean your dog's paws. And I definitely am not the type of guy that wants to do it three times a day. However, this cup makes it so easy to do it. It makes it unbelievably easy, right? I think you just fill it up with some soap and some water, and then you kind of just massage the, like you just put the dog's hand into it. It's really easy, the paw. So it's a great product. And as you can see, it's relatively expensive. So we can actually put it up and sell it for like 50 bucks or even 40 bucks. And people are willing to pay for it. Believe me, when something is this painful to dog owners, they'll do anything for it. Remember the dog scooper, the one that you can just stoop and like scoop the dog's poo. Yeah, they paid a lot of money for that one. So really dog owners are crazy. So it's a great product. And let me show you guys the Google Trends. So it does violate some of the things I'm looking for. But as you can see, like this spike is undeniable. It is really just jumping up. And over the last couple of summers, it actually was jumping as well, but just not as much as now. So not exactly a super predictable one, but still a trend to fall nonetheless. And I think this one's here to stay. And also if we scroll down on the Google Trends page, which I always recommend you guys do, we can look at some breakout queries that are being searched by people. So paw cleaner cup, that's it right there. Dog paw cleaner, I don't know what mud buster paw cleaner is but puppy pot cleaner. So these are things people are searching for, which means it would actually be a good product to also do some Google PPC with and uh, Google shopping with, right? It's not a bad product. It's a very good product, in fact. And I'll show you guys the next one. So right here, this is an outdoor cooking stove. Now I have two of them here because it kind of depends how you want to position it. But anyway, every summer, or spring people are ready to go camping and a huge part of camping is having nice tech that's kind of the new trend that we're seeing now and people really like minimalist tech so if you go on a website like mass drop one of their biggest categories is actually lightweight tech for camping one of the biggest sellers right now are just these foldable mini camping gas stoves so they're absolutely tiny if you look at this one it just attaches to i think like a coleman propane tank if i'm not mistaken and bam like you're good to go as you guys know when you're camping lugging that if you do backcountry camping, I've done it. I know how annoying it is to carry a big backpack on my back. So having stoves like this are really nice. So we had like a Trangia and then we moved to like a MSR or something like that. It was tiny. It actually looked a lot like this. So very good product to start selling. And there's also this one. And if I, let me just scroll down and find this picture for you. It's actually being like weighed or something like that. And it just shows how easily it breaks down. Yeah. So there you go. It's like the size of an iPad and I think it weighs almost nothing. Yeah. 223 grams, <laughs> not a lot of weight at all to go, you know, shove into, because it's so flat, you can just put into like any side compartment of your camping bag, which is obviously extremely convenient because we had a BioLite stove and a Trangia and that stuff is like big and bulky, right? It takes up a bunch of room. So this obviously to a camping enjoy or somebody who enjoys camping, they would really appreciate a product like this. And if we go to the Google Trends, right? Bam, that's the exact predictable trend I'm talking about. And if you guys look where we are right now, so let's go, you know, to the most recent one. We're in the climbing phase. So I think it's March 12th today or 13th. So <laughs> it's climbing, right? It's at 33, but look, it's going to peak out right here in May and you have all summer to be selling it and just scaling and absolutely destroying it. And then once the season goes out, you can start transitioning into other camping stuff. People already know you for camping products. And that this is why this is a great way to build a niche, right? Really great season to build a niche. And again, guys, all the links you'll need are down below. And if you guys need additional help, I started offering one-on-one -on -one mentorship calls. So go ahead and click the link down there to book one with me. It's going to absolutely change your life, right? 
Uh, I used to buy courses and I've just realized that, you know, spending 30 minutes with like a mentor or someone like that is just so much more valuable because chances are you know all this stuff. You found these products before I did probably. So I don't know what you're waiting for. You know everything you need to do. So just, you know, click the link, the first link and sign up for that mentorship call, right? I know it's just the confidence that you're missing and 30 minutes with someone like me is going to change your life, going to really propel your business to the next level. You'll have that confidence that you always needed. All right, guys. So the next product is going to be this. It is a fishing lure fishing bait, something like that. I'm not a huge fisherman myself, but anyway, this is an awesome product that absolutely blows up in the summertime. So if we take a look at it right here, uh, there you go. See, it blows up right here. And we're just in this sector right here. Look how low we are. If you start selling it right now, you literally follow this trend. And again, this is why I like that predictability of this, this like function, right? It's just going to keep doing it. It's going to go up again and again, and we'll be able to follow that trend. So go ahead, get into that fishing niche. You can sell so much. And this can actually be put into like an, a whole outdoors niche if you'd rather do that. And then you have the camping stove, the fishing, stuff like that. Make like a, a, an outdoor warehouse kind of deal. And again, look, it blows up in every state, Florida, West Virginia, Delaware. So literally all of the continental US is interested in fishing and I don't blame them. It's a great hobby and very profitable, right? People are willing to spend a lot of money. Bass Pro Shop is massive. So think about how much money. And I know personally, cause I have cousins who are huge fishermen that spend so much money on new lures and, you know, planning out where they're going to be fishing this year. And then based off that planning out what lures are going to buy. So I don't know exactly what this is, but anyway, you guys get the point. Look through the lures, do some research for yourself. Next guys is going to be golfing aids. And I can't tell you how important this is, right? Everybody is trying to learn how to golf. Everybody kind of knows it in their head. I'm trying to learn how to golf. When they start getting older, and actually it's an incredible sport when you're young. I absolutely love golf. People are trying to learn how to start playing because they all want to retire in Florida or, you know, Arizona and start playing golf, right? It's a gentleman's sport. It's a great sport to play. It's not taxing on your nerves and your joints, right? Are really popular ways of helping you. And if you can sell them on improve your stroke, you know, put like a picture of Tiger Woods using one or something like that, or, you know, Tiger Woods is perfect swing beside it and be like, you can learn how to swing like this, something like that, right? Figure it out. So something like this, I don't really understand how exactly it works. Just do some research, but I think it holds your, your hands in a certain place. So you don't move them too much during your swing. And that's kind of the goal of it. But if we take a look at the, the trend, right, it speaks for itself again, right? We're going to be right here. Let me find March. And in only two weeks, it's going to peak out right? If the trends follow and really they have been following, they, they've been very consistent over the last four years. And as you can see, we're already experiencing that uptrend here. So jump on this one. It's a great one to sell. And it's a really easy one to position because people are always looking for ways to improve their game. That's the whole point. You get very competitive with your old buddies and uh, yeah, you start practicing with your swing aid and look, I wrote golf swing. So people are obviously searching golf swing, right? So people start searching for golf swing because they want to improve on it, watch some YouTube videos and bam, you pop up easy peasy. Now guys, the next one I actually found with Niche Scraper, it was the very first product on their hand-picked category. I did some research into it and it's awesome. So if we take a look at this, first of all, you're not going to find this in many places, this patio umbrella light, and you can also take it fishing. As you can see, there is kind of a trend. A lot of it is outdoorsy. And then that's just where my brain goes when I'm thinking of summer, right? I'm so excited to start getting outside again and taking advantage of the beautiful Canadian summer. If we go take a look at uh, the trends, right? It's a little bit more spiky, but again, we see that same uptrend. And you can go ahead and jump on it right now, right here. We're down here right now. You jump on right now. You get to climb this whole trend and start selling people on this. It's a great product to have, right? It really is. People love sitting outside on their patio, especially under the umbrella. And I don't know, there's something cozy about it. And then just putting that light underneath just makes it a really enjoyable place to be during those summer nights. So that is awesome, I believe. And a great product to start selling. It's only five bucks and you can definitely definitely see the value unit of it being $26. So that's why it's a great product to sell as well. So, you know, and you guys can obviously get a new scraper in the first link below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this part helped you as well. And, you know, take advantage of these five products because they're incredible and I've done all the work for you, right? I don't want to toot my own horn, but I did it, made it really easy for you guys. Go ahead and test them and let me know how it goes for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.